didn't know people like you really existed. They don't. There's nobody can do what I do. Who are you? I'm here to take care of your problem. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Movie Fanatics video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the 2024 most anticipated movie, Wolves. Before we get started, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and most definitely share. So the highly most anticipated 2024 Wolves movie starring Brad Pitt and George Clooney was direct, directed and written by John Watts. Now, his most notable movies by John Watts that he actually directed was Spider-Man, the Spider-Man in the MCU. Those movies, The Homecoming, The Far From Home and The No Way Home, which, by the way, No Way Home was a freaking masterpiece. If you haven't watched No Way Home, you're tripping. Check that joint out, especially if you're a super Spider-Man fan. But this is the first movie that Brad Pitt and George Clooney have done together in a live action scenario situation since two, since 2012. That's the movie eight. They both produced this movie wolves. Um, this movie was released on the 27th of September. Highly recommend this movie. If you're some, if you're old school action fans out there, that's into the two thousands action action fans where you big came up watching a lot of George Clooney and a lot of Brad Pitt, don't don't watch the Batman and Robin for George Clooney, but everything else I would I would highly recommend. But for those that are just new to 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 these old think they're just old heads like these some old school OG action action heads here. So just by those names alone, it's a, it's a definite it's a definite check out uh, for this movie. But main plot for this movie is as follows. It's Margaret. That's paid by Amy Ryan. She's the district attorney of Manhattan. She flips out after she fi finds finds homeboy dead in in a penthouse suite, and she calls a number where if she's ever in trouble, call the number and somebody will show up and help her fix the problem. Basically, long story short, it's just you know they have these cleaners that cut that go out clean up clean up horrible crime scenes i'm pretty sure they do that stuff in real life but we're not supposed to be talking about that right now but they just come and clean up the problem obviously her being the district attorney she can't afford to have somebody lying dead in her in her penthouse on her watch it's a it's it's, it's a bad look like she had, like completely ruin her career if if someone's to ever find this out so she sends in calls the calls the cleaner to come clean up the problem and then Little does she, a little does she know once the cleaner shows up, which is George Clooney's character, we end up having another cleaner show up at the same freaking time. And that's Brad Pitt's character. And come to find out they're both stuck working together, even though they've only been known to work alone doing this type of work, secretly not knowing about each other. They just live a totally different lives and just get put together to solve out this one problem. But it gets a lot more complex than that, obviously, where there's a whole bunch of different plot twists with this movie, which honestly, those are my kind of movies where you can never guess what exactly is going to happen throughout the whole movie where you've always got to be on the edge of, the edge of your seat. But in all honesty, I really enjoyed the movie. Had a, get, had a moment of being able to reminisce about the past, obviously watching Brad Pitt as a kid, watching a little bit of George Clooney. I'm more of a Brad Pitt guy than a George Clooney guy. Um, and uh, they, I felt like those two had excellent chemistry on screen together. Like they was able to bust out jokes with one another, a lot of inside joke things that you, that you really have to catch up, have to catch on to. If you watched a lot of their movies in the past, but they, whether they were working together and just to see them on the screen together, these two 2000 action hero actors on the same screen. Again, it's definitely, a, it's definitely got to catch your eye if you're, if you were a big, huge movie fan in the 2000s. But again, man, one of my favorite things about this movie was the fact that there was a whole bunch of different plot twists where you really could not guess what was going to happen throughout this movie. So it kept you on, keeps you on the edge of your seat. Now, I would definitely give this movie. I will give it a seven out of ten. Again, I really enjoyed the movie, but there's some things that I definitely would have changed. But I again, I give it a seven out of ten. I highly recommend it to the older generation, considering the fact, again, that's you came up with Brad Pitt. You came up with George Clooney. 
it's it's nice to see those two on screen together due to the fact they have so much fun when they end up doing movies. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is the Movie Fanatics. Up out of here, man.